Howdy folks, this is a little walkthrough of CD Spot. Have my top off for some maintenance. What I wanted to do was change my spark plugs. I had to order them. So it's just more of a what's inside video. Um, this year is a 2016. And uh, what I typically do is spray it down with uh, any type of fluid film or engine mm -hmm. film to Put a barrier between the uh, engine and any salt water that might get on the engine during uh, normal use. Very simple motor. Here we have the oil filter, starter, crankcase in here. Here's the exhaust, muffler, this is a uh, air intake manifold, so this will be the exhaust manifold, valve cover, uh, these plugs here that are open are the ignition modules, that uh, plugs that go over the spark plugs, you have your simple um, starter solenoid, reservoir for your coolant right here would be your little access door so normally you would see if you look straight down your battery your fuse holder this is your ECM or computer slide around to the other side it's just a little walkthrough for anyone wondering what's inside or what's what or how how things are situated on the inside here you'll notice uh, that's the drain plug area. And the way it's ran, it's ran to the pump, so it looks like there's some sort of uh, vacuum that's created to work out as a uh, manual bilge pump, which is pretty cool. There you have a motor mount. Obviously you have your muffler. I did a muffler uh, change on mine, so I got rid of the water box. Um, once again, you have your air intake if you ever notice your ski running funny it could be a plethora of things and what this does here is this monitors the air temperature and communicates with the computer to let it know uh, what the air temperature is it's like a mass airflow sensor I want to say uh, or something to that nature um, you might also have another mass airflow sensor right here where those wires are and plug and this is going to be your throttle body so that might just be your throttle body uh, uh, control obviously it's an electronic throttle body and then this is your water box another water box for your air intake so if you do s manage to get some water into your system it will ultimately rest at the bottom of this box so it keeps it from going into the engine. Here you have your um, coolant hoses. As everyone knows, the ski is uh, internally cooled for the engine. Uh, crankcase, uh, however, it is externally cooled for the uh, exhaust. Oh, yeah. There's your water pump in there. Let's see where that hose clamp is. That, that's your water pump. It's a looks like it has a black cover on it. Uh, it also could be your thermostat. I'm not sure if these things have one, but your thermostat might also be in there. But I also see that that is the water pump because I see a gasket. So you got a couple of things going on up in there. You got a couple of hoses going in there. So once again, this is your ECM or your computer. That's what you get flashed when everyone talks about flash, flash, flash. That's what gets flashed. 
This is your fuel cap stem, gas tank. Uh, this right here is actually where your fuel pump is. Uh, obviously it's encased inside of the tank. Uh, this is your going to be the electronic controls to your pump and this is your exit and in, into the uh, fuel injector rail. Fuel injector rail comes off fairly easily uh, as well as the fuel injectors. So that's just a quick rundown on what's going on in here. That there is just the steering control cable and this here is just a depth finder, fish finder that I have hooked up. Uh, and this is also an aftermarket piece. I have a vent that uh, I ran even further away from the engine so that I get even cooler air uh, out of the ski. And then you see we have these large foam uh, floaties to keep the ski from, uh, uh, keep it, uh, you know, more uh, buoyant. And that also surrounds the battery box. And that's what you have there. Uh, there's a, this is not rubber, it's some kind of rubber composite lining between the upper and lower half of the ski. This is where you would install your uh, ski rack or if you towed someone, the, the uh, mount will go in here because this is actually has a, the only internal support for any part of the uh, shell, upper or lower. That's not built in. So that's interesting there. Here we have uh, your drive shaft area. That That is uh, covered in fluid film. I can see the shaft through a little hole there. That's where your uh, carbon seal would be if you ever need to replace that. And it just kind of the molding of the engine kind of covers up the rest. Well, not covers up the rest, but covers the shaft. So that's all we got here. Just a quick walkthrough of what's inside. Hope you liked it.